his henchman to his fiery throne one day, and he said, now listen, you buzzards, to every word I say. We've got to have more hell on earth, and we've got to have it fast, because the folks up there are starting to think this peace is going to last. We're going to start another war, and get this straight, you guys. This time, I expect results instead of alibis. So I'm giving you all fair warning. Get that lead out of your seat. Or as sure as my name is Satan, I'm going to turn on more heat. There was silence for a moment as brimstone filled the place and the fiery furnace reflected on the devil's ugly face. And then he grabbed his pitchfork and banged it on the floor and yelled, speak up, you numbskulls. What are you waiting for? One henchman spoke up bravely. I know what we should do. I saw it all in a dream I had, and this time it's bound to come true. Set down, the devil shouted, and hide your silly face. We heard from you in 39, you and your super race. Again, that awful silence like the calm before the storm, while the devil sat there scowling, his red eyes filled with scorn. Then spoke a second henchman, his voice polite and meek. I asked the Honorable Satan, excuse please, may I speak? Well, well, the devil chuckled. My old Pearl Harbor friend, so nice to have you with us in our cozy little den. I've reserved a nest of rattlesnakes to keep you company. I'm sure they'll make you happy. You're so much alike, you see. And by the way, said Satan, you'll both be glad to know another dear old pal of yours is with us here below. I gave this very special guest the warmest room in hell, and it has a private balcony where he can strut and yell. And soon there'll be another guy come down to join our show. I've made his reservations under the name of Joe. Right now, he's quite a big shot, building guns and tanks. But he'll be right here with us when he tries to whip the Yanks. (laughs) 